Hello, this is just going to be a brief outline going over the analytics section of IXO. So what we're going to do is when we're on the main IXO page, uh, we have our options here as far as assigning coursework. But what we're going to do today is take a look at the live view from IXO. So in order to look at the live view, we're going to click on analytics. And it's going to show you the main dashboard of everything that's done so far. So in my class, we're now December. I've done about um, 245,000 questions with the students. And I got a total of 49 students that are on IXL right now. But I want to know who's on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on where it has a lightning bolt with the live classroom view. We're going to click on the live classroom view there. And up here, you can choose by class. So for an example, I got my period three purple class, period four blue so far. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to look at blue class because um, the whole class should be on right now. Mm -hmm. So um, as of right now, you can take a look at the scores and what they're doing. So for an example, we have a student working on like uh, fifth grade because they just need to work on that standard. We got a lot of eighth grade um, and so forth. So uh, what do all the bars mean? So if you take a look at these bars below, um, these are the most recent students uh, questions that uh, students have answered. So for an example, because we have one, two, three, four, five green bars, that means the last five questions have gotten it correct. And by clicking on it, I can actually see the questions that they did and got right or wrong. So for an example, these are the students that, uh, the questions that the student got right. Now, what does it look like when you're say, uh, for an example, where you got, you know, two questions wrong, got one right, two more uh, wrong. Well, how does that work? So for an, for an example, is really having a difficult time with the select all the expressions that are equivalent to nine to the negative fifth power to the power of negative three. So what's cool about this is that I can see what it answered, but I can also see what the answer should have been. So I can look for misconceptions. So it looked like uh, we had a problem with the negative here that as a professional, I need to go back and maybe go take a look at. And same thing here. So we have 10 to the negative nine times 10 to the eight. So, uh, and looks like it says select all. And answer these two and actually they were the exact opposite of the regular answers. So again, I'm just gonna go back and take a look at my practice as a teacher and see what I could do. Now let's say, um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling right now. So I could send her a direct message. Um, so for an example, I would, you know, be sure to read the explanation. So that way um, she has something to refer back to. Then um, students are doing good, like um, send them a great job, see how fast this goes, they just send it right on off. For my classroom, a uh, smart score of 80 is considered full credit. Anything over 80 is extra credit, and anything under 80 is partial credit. So right now, like, for example, it's got an explanation. Um, let's see what is going on. Okay, got that one right. Good, 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 good. Had a problem with this question here. And so forth. So again, as a teacher, I, you know, I kind of have an idea of what my students are thinking. Uh, I'm going to send nudge um and you could type your own too um let's say uh keep up the good work keep up because i want to keep going keep up the good work and send that all the and there it goes um what's cool as a teacher too so um at the very bottom it shows uh click the show inactive students so for an example um the following four students are absent today so it makes sense that they're not online. But if I was a teacher in my classroom and this student, for an example, was in my class and they're not popping up, it lets me know that they're either not logged in or maybe off task in class. So uh, this is also great feedback. And of course, if the students forget their username and password, which does happen, even though they have SB link, um, they can, can go through SB link or they can go in directly through Excel using their username and password. Well, that looks like about it. This concludes this fabulous tutorial for the analytics section of IXL.